Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And I thought I would come on here and do a planner favorites video. This is a video that I feel like I don't see that often in the planner community. And I, you know, got the idea from being in the beauty community. That's where I started. That's where I cut my teeth on making videos, it was on beauty, makeup, project panning, all that. And so, um, I, I feel like it was a lot more common there. Maybe it's not so common anymore. Maybe it's just like back then, it, favorites videos were a little bit more popular and now, now they're not. I don't know. I feel like I'm not super into the beauty community anymore. So I don't know if it's a trend that was popular a couple years back and then has died out. I don't know. Let me know if you know. But I thought it would be fun to just do a favorites video for planner stuff because I'm a planner and paper crafting channel right now. Um, although I have to say this is not an exclusively paper crafting and planner content channel. Um, this is just my channel of all my interests and right now like my interests are in doing paper craft and planner stuff so that's what you're gonna see but if I come out with a project pan video if I come out with a book video if I come out with you know I don't know a mushroom foraging video adventure in the Sierras like please accept me for who I am <laughs> okay anyways um yeah, so if you're interested in hearing about my current favorites when it comes to planner and paper craft, um, you know, I, some of these things are things I have been really enjoying for the last couple of months to last couple of weeks. And some of these are things I just really don't talk about because I don't know, I just, it's hard to like show everything in your YouTube videos. So a couple of these things are unsung heroes that I feel like I absolutely love but haven't really gotten the chance to like share or talk about. So yeah, so if this sounds interesting at all, just keep on watching. And honestly, I've been kind of wanting to do more face-to-face -face videos with you all because I do miss doing the face-to-face -face videos from, you know, doing makeup and beauty videos with planning and paper crafting videos, um, you just see a lot more of my hands. And while I'm fine with that, it does kind of like, okay, real talk here, like sometimes I prefer doing paper, like planning videos over like makeup videos because it means that I can look a busted ass mess behind the camera and as long as my nails are done, you'll think that I'm in like total control of my life. You'll think that I look like this all the time real talk I do not look like this all the time real talk I literally got out of the shower like 10 minutes ago I was literally looking like death itself for the great majority of the day I was just I was not like I was not <laughs> I was not looking cute and it's ha it happens you know it happens life happens you don't always have to be made up to you know feel good but honestly like I needed a shower I needed a you know, I just needed to like take care of myself because I get into modes that I'm just like, do not, I don't take the time to take care of myself. I'm like balls to the wall, like working 12 hour days. Like I am that type of person that sometimes gets into those like modes. And then before I know it, like I haven't showered in three days. Like I don't even remember the last time I put on makeup. I don't remember the last time I cooked. So real talk. Um, <laughs> that's that's behind the scenes that's a peak behind the scenes of, of my life it's not always like perfect glam life so what i'm trying to say is that i am trying to motivate myself to film more face-to-face -face videos so that i'm a little bit more motivated to like put on makeup put on like real life clothes like not look like death like i was i was next level i was like on a different plane of existence i looked like a zombie crawled out of you know, the grave, I was, whew, you know, I would, mm -mm. yeah, let's not go there. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to do more face-to-face -face videos because that was one thing that kind of I liked about doing makeup and beauty videos where almost every video was a face-to-face -face video as opposed to like a hands video is that it did motivate me to like look presentable <laughs> and like take a moment to just take care of myself because like it I wanted to look good on camera but what ended up happening is like 
I take a moment of self-care for myself and that's what matters. Oh, that is a long story. Anyways, I'm also eating dinner like right now. I'm like eating my little dinner here. So, all right, let's get into this video. The reason why you clicked on this video is not about me yammering. It's like you wanted to know what I have been loving in my planner life. And I love favorites videos, um, whether it's makeup or planner stuff, because it kind of just like takes a bunch of like superstar products that people have been loving and just you know you learn a lot about what people are loving and get a lot of good ideas and recommendations and things like that so let's get into it okay i need to stop talking all right the first thing that i have been loving in my planner life are these guys right here these are micron pigma micron pens and these are pretty like common uh, pens you can get them at Michael's, Joann's, any like almost anywhere will have these micron pens and I feel like people are really aware of them but I just want to reiterate like how much I love these things. My go-to size is 0.45 it's like that perfect Goldilocks size not too thick not too thin a little bit thinner than 0.45 and I get it's really easy to bend the tips of the pens which once you get into like 0.25, now that is dangerous. Like I am a person who like puts way too much force into writing. Like I am just like gouging the paper. Um, I don't know, I'm just like someone that writes really hard. And so I need a pen that is going to like stand up to my brute force. And the Pigma Microns in 0.45 millimeters are excellent. I actually picked up like an assortment of colors. I have um, here, I have just the regular black. I have a green, a brown, and a purple. And they're, yeah, they're just beautiful colors. I almost feel like I'm talking about eyeliners, <laughs> but I'm talking about pens. And I also have um, 0.50 as well in just standard black. Um, so I have this guy here. This one is a little bit thicker and 0.50 is probably my next favorite size of like millimeter. Uh, it's just a little bit thicker than the 0.45, but it's not too crazy. And yeah, it just, it looks, it looks really good. So these are great for writing. They don't bleed through paper, at least not the paper that I use, and they're just gorgeous. I use them all the time, and yeah, it's kind of an unsung hero because I don't really talk about them in my like planner videos, but I use them every single day. Okay, so another like pen thing that I have been loving, this pen right here. Oh, she's so cute. So this is just a regular pen. Um, I'm not sure like what the brand is. I think it's called Kuki, the brand. And it's just a regular old pen and it doesn't say the size of the tip, but if I would if I had a guess, I would say this is like a 0.35 millimeter. And it's really thin, like the pen itself is really thin once you take off the little like fun little cat uh, cap there on the end but that is like my favorite part it's so cute like these are so adorable it's so cute every time I see it I just it makes me so happy it's a little cat there that says lucky and they have these in two colors one in purple oh and I think I might have the one in red yeah <laughs> so cute so I used this one up uh, a while ago I used it up completely like I bled it dry that's how much I loved it had to pick up another one so I picked up the purple one this time and they're both black like the ink is black but um it's just the like the packaging is a different color but I love this pen so much because not only is it so cute and decorative it looks great in like photos but also it's just really fun to look at and to write with and also the the pen itself is really high quality. It writes really well. It's smooth. It like just glides over the paper. And also, um, it's it's pretty thin. It's like a good size. Like I feel like it's thin enough for me to feel 
like I can write a lot in a small amount of space and for me I like that because I tend to write a lot and so for me it's almost better to have like a thinner pen than a thicker pen that's why my favorite pen size is a 0.45 it's just a little bit thinner than you know um, regular like standard size pens okay and the last like uh, pen type of or like writing utensil type favorite I have before I get into other things are these clean color dot pens and this is the packaging that they came in but I actually keep them in a little pencil pouch this pencil pouch I got at Daiso it's um ugh, I forget what the name of the characters are but it's so cute oh and they're in like sushi they're like sushi uh, style oh so cute but these are the pens that look like this and I actually have 12 of them but only a couple fit in my little pen pouch here so I only keep a few of them in there and I keep the rest in another pencil pouch but yeah so these are the clean color dot markers and ugh, obsessed I have been obsessed with these for the last couple of weeks um, so what sold me about these pens was that they have an end that is a dot so you can just make dots um, with these guys and if you're really into lists and bullet points and bullet point stickers um, then you'll you'll know like why these are so amazing Be that they have a dot on the end because you can just give yourself bullet points you can just give yourself um, sticker dots and with all these different colors there's so much like uh, versatility there. Like you could um, use these in any type of spread because you have all these color options. You'll find something that matches. And if that was not enough, the pen also has a 0.5 millimeter uh, marker with a fine tip at the end. So, oh, so perfect. I don't use that side as much as I use the dot side. Like I would have been happy to just have the dot side. I didn't need to have the like, the marker but it's an added bonus that um, they gave us the marker side as well so I have been just adoring these pens and I keep about um, eight of them in my little um, pouch here and then I keep the rest in another pouch uh, yeah I wish this little like sushi pouch was big enough to fit all my markers but it's not unfortunately yeah, it can fit it can fit 10 of them in here and so I just keep the other two like in another pencil pouch uh, yeah and yeah that, so that's the packaging they came in and I got mine off of the uh, where did I get mine I honestly don't remember where I got mine just look up clean color dot pen I think that they're sold on multiple websites um, so and I've heard that you can get them uh, cheaper on some websites versus the others I don't know I just followed the link that my friend sent me who like recommended them to me and I got them for I think they were $32 for that packet oh my god gotta hurry up this video because we're at 18 minutes I challenge myself to one day I make like a 10 minute video never it's never been me I've always been someone who makes feature length films okay I have a couple of sticker books that I want to shout out. I picked up the Homebody sticker book and the Let's Stay Home sticker book. So these are relatively new releases from the Happy Planner and these are, you know, re-released or like the re-issued versions of the Homebody, the first Homebody seasonal sticker book, which oh, I regret not picking up. I should have picked it up. But, you know, I've been looking for that sticker book ever since and I like to decorate each one of my planners with a particular theme because that way, like, I feel like I stick with a cohesive story. I'm not, like, thinking about what, you know, themes that... I'm not thinking about too much about the decoration of the planner. I just, like, have the theme, you know, and I stick to the theme and that's it. That's not to say that I don't have room for creativity. Um, it's just kind of like a, a guideline for me to follow so that I'm not too like 
lost at sea because I have a lot of planners and if I was going to decorate each one of them like you know super creatively then I just won't have time to like maintain and efficiently use a lot of planners and so for my household planner I use like a farmhouse slash homebody theme um, I'm kind of going for like modern farmhouse type aesthetic vibes in that household planner and so the homebody and the let's stay home sticker books kind of follow that theme of like farmhouse and so I saw these they're just so cute they're so adorable they fit my theme they fit my fantasy and so I have been loving them in my household planner right now it's all I use are these two sticker books and the farmhouse one um, in my household planner and my household planner right now I'm using uh, a very neutral dashboard I'm using um, let me see if oh no I don't have the planner with me right here but I'm using a, a very neutral dashboard for my household. And then something that I have also been loving, the gardening sticker book from the Happy Planner. Oh my goodness, this one is probably my favorite gardening sticker book that they've come out so far and I've, I've gotten every single one that they've gotten, they've released. I am a big gardener right now. My garden is just barely starting because I did move. Um, in November and I had to like completely start from scratch my garden and so and I didn't even st really start until January because I was just so like settling into the new house you know settling into my new routine I do commute now um, into the city for work and so it was just like I was not in my garden at all and then I had to figure out like how I was gonna garden in my new house because the backyard has its own situation going on and so I have finally started to like get into routine with my gardening and I've started to like see some of my seeds starting to sprout now so I'm really really happy that you know I have managed to get back into my garden and I have to thank the gardening sticker book to some extent for that. Okay. Another favorite, the Colorful Boxes Rainbow Mega Sticker Book that was just released from the spring release. This thing sold out so quickly. Everyone and their mama picked this up. I should have gotten three. I should have gotten four. I should have just fucking stacked up on this baby because, oh, she's exactly everything that I dreamed she would be. So functional, like... There's always a colorful box shortage in planner land. We just, we're just like monsters when it comes to our boxes. We just, we just need a lot of them. And so that was, you know, I've, I carry her around with me. Like I don't carry sticker books around with me. Um, well, actually I feel like I carry like maybe one or two. I carry like a small one, not a happy planner one, just like a, a bando one. I carry a small one and then I carry like um like stickers inside my planner but in terms of like actual sticker books i carry this thing around with me and sometimes i carry another sticker book too i'll take the colorful boxes and i'll take like a full sticker book um with me around okay and the last thing that i have really been loving is a new purchase oh and the sun is coming over and around and getting into my uh, into my frame here i'm facing west and it's the afternoon so the sun's starting to illuminate but okay so this was um a recent purchase of mine this is a wellness happy notes journal from the mickey mouse like floral line that came out a while ago and i got this at joann's i saw this i was really inspired by it um so it has a really beautiful cover and dividers and so when i first saw this in stores i was like yeah that's cute but i don't do a lot of wellness journaling and i have like a wellness planner already so if i want to journal it's usually in that and i also have a, a disney wellness journal that I picked up over the summer on clearance, which has wonderful journaling pages. And so I was like, I'm good with wellness journaling right now. Like I don't need that. But then <laughs> I saw this and I didn't get it for a wellness journal, although I can use it if as a wellness journal if I want to. Um, so it comes with like some pages uh, for wellness journaling. 
But then what I got it for were these pages here. So this uh, journal comes with like a couple of different types of like pages. We have just like dot grid. Um, we have these more like journaling prompt type pages. But I would say that their main, their main, like the main page, like the, uh, the one that's like most common in this journaling is this one right here, which has like a journaling section on the left with just a uh, grid. grid. It's a grid section. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of washing out, but it's just grid here. We have a little design of Mickey or Minnie. We have just like the day up here that you can circle and the date and it has three boxes and it has three prompts for each box. And so I saw this page and I was like, I love this really long grid section here. I think that would be a great place to either uh, put a long to-do list or um, have like a daily schedule, like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Like that would be a perfect place to do that. I could see these boxes acting as like high priority, mid priority, low priority um, items to do. I could just, you know, cover the, the wellness prompts with stickers. I could just, you know, really work this to, to be a daily agenda sheet. So you can see here, like the majority of the pages in this journal are those pages and so i saw that and i was like these would be perfect daily agenda pages and i am someone who loves me a good daily agenda page i tend to use them pretty frequently and i find it really hard to find like the perfect daily agenda page for my uses um yeah it's just i i feel like yeah, it's just hard to find them. And I like playing around with different types of agenda pages. And so I saw those and I was like, yes, let me get into those. I can use those for daily agenda pages. And I actually, my last video that I just uploaded yesterday was a plan with me um, showing how I used these wellness journaling pages as a daily agenda page. And I loved how it came out. So definitely go check that out if you wanna see a little bit more details on how I use those. But that is it, those are all of my favorites. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this video. I feel like it was really long, but again, I'm trying to do a little bit more chatty like face-to-face -face videos and yeah. And um, oh, thank you so much to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. My channel just hit 1700 subscribers which is amazing yeah that's crazy um, when I was doing like makeup and beauty content my channel actually at the peak of subscribers I think I had about like 2600 subscribers and then I took like a two-year hiatus and then I changed my name I changed like my channel name I changed my content and I lost like yeah I lost about a thousand subscribers from that shift and so it has been, uh, I have seen my numbers like steadily decrease, but this is the first time I've started to see them start to increase, which is amazing because now it feels like um, that I can bring like every, you know, facet of my personality, every one of my interests to this channel. And I don't have to be scared about, you know, people not being happy with what I'm doing um and people like unsubscribing which is fine you know if it's not for you it's not for you so yeah i don't know what else to say all right <laughs> i'll catch you later bye